All right, our first example with congruent chords, we're given some information. So given circle O, remember that means that O is the center of your circle. We know that AB is congruent to CD. So if we find AB in the picture, here's AB, that's a chord, is congruent to CD, which is another chord. So basically we have congruent chords. Now if you remember, the theorem from our intro video tells us if chords, if you have two congruent chords, that means that they will be the same distance from the center of the circle. So these lines drawn in indicating or showing the distance from the chord to the center, those will be congruent. Then they tell us that OP is equal to 12x minus 5. So here's OP, one of those distances. And OQ is 4x plus 19. So we have to find the length of OP. So because of our congruent chords, we know that OP will be congruent to OQ. So that's the equation we set up. OP is 12x minus 5. We're going to set that equal to 4x plus 19. We'll go ahead and solve for x. We can subtract 4x from both sides, leaving us with 8x minus 5 is equal to 19. Add 5 to both sides, 8x equals 24, divide by 3, oops, divide by 8, and x equals 3. So when we do a lot of math, it's easy to think that we're done with the problem. So we always need to go back and check what did they actually ask us to find. In this case, they want us to find OP, which means we're not actually done. We know what x is, which means, or which allows us to find OP. So remember, OP is 12x minus 5, so all we're doing is we're plugging in 3. So 12 times 3 minus 5. 36 minus 5, so in the end, OP is equal to 31. And we're done.